Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all a huge sunscreen haul from Amazon. All of these sunscreens are super affordable, under rupees 500, and I've got them from Amazon. Summers are here, and so many of you all requested me to do an affordable sunscreen recommendation. So I thought, why not to do a haul and share it with you guys? Now, of course, I'll be making another video where I'll be sharing with you guys my sunscreen recommendations, which will range from affordable to expensive. But these are some under rupees 500 sunscreens for your face and body. So now without further ado, let's get started. So let me start off with body sunscreen because I just have two of them to recommend you guys. First one I have is from Sunscoop and this is their hydrating fluid sunscreen for face and body. Now one thing that I really liked about Sunscoop sunscreen is first of all it comes in this very convenient spray sort of a packaging. So you can just like simply spray it like this and then just massage it into your bowl and just use it as a lotion it's that easy i really enjoyed using this i've used it like twice or thrice already and personally i feel that during the summers replace your body lotion with a sunscreen lotion because it's so important i have already gotten tanned in the last few weeks of the summer that has begun here and it's so hot in pune these days i don't know why so sunscreen lotion is really important and this one from Sunscoop is super duper good. This is really affordable. It retails for 4 double line, but you can always find it on discount on Amazon. So this is like a must have, uh, you know, body sunscreen lotion and also very convenient. So you can get your hands on this one. I haven't really tried any of the Sunscoop's uh, other sunscreen as such, but this one is really nice. The next one that I have is great for dry skin people because this is a ceramide based body lotion. This one is the Wishcare sunscreen body lotion. I have heard so many good reviews about Wishcare from so many other people. So I really wanted to get my hands on this one. Again, this is affordable retails for 4 double nine, but like I told you, you can always find it on discount. So it's not bad, okay? I really like this as a body lotion. The only thing is that you have to work it well because of its thick texture, uh, because of its thick texture, you have to blend it well. Otherwise, it's a really good body lotion. If you're a dry skin person, you can get your hands on this one. I've just used it once or twice. If I really have to pick up a sunscreen for summers, I would easily be drawn towards Sunscoop one because it's lightweight for my body but like if i have dry skin and i really want to ensure that my skin is moisturized at the same time sun protected then i'll go for the wish care one now i have a lot of face sunscreen ones all of them are really affordable guys first let me start off with this super cute one this one is from gush beauty and it's their sun stick with spf 60 and it comes in this carry-on sort of a string which you can just attach it to your bag which i'm soon going to do it's a really nice sunscreen stick initially when i saw the color because it's got this light pink skin tone sort of a color i thought that this might be a little bit chalky but not at all it's really hydrating like i'll just use it over here just see it's super hydrating very lightweight and i really enjoy using this one a lot this is a product that i would highly recommend you guys to invest in and i've used it okay two three times that's the reason i'm recommending it so much it's under 500 rupees for like 470 rupees and you're getting a great deal i think gush beauty did a great job with the sunscreen stick and it's going to be so convenient during summers the next two sunscreens that i picked up are from derma i have the derma course one person hyaluronic acid sunscreen aqua gel and then i have their hyaluronic acid long lasting sunscreen both of these first of all if i really have to recommend one out of each i would recommend their regular aqua gel sunscreen because i've been using it since years and i cannot stop recommending it it's an amazing beautiful just just the perfect sunscreen but if you're someone who has a lot of oily skin and wants to look for a long lasting or more like a thicker base sunscreen then you can try their long lasting variant both of them are good in their own way but i would personally prefer this one i got my hands on both of them because i emptied out this one in my last empty video if you have seen so i really had to restock another affordable sunscreen that i have to recommend is from foxtail this is essentials by foxtail which is like a sub brand of foxtail and they have like really affordable products under them and this is their daily glow sunscreen with niacinamide and vitamin c again this sunscreen is not really bad it's a good hydrating sunscreen that you can use on a regular basis and it's super affordable okay it's just for 349 but on amazon you can find it for 250 as well that's how great it is 
it's fine not the best sunscreen available but on a budget i think instead of buying some other brands you can buy this one from foxtail i've used it just once for trial so can't say much but overall it is a really nice product next one that i have are from dot and key i have two sunscreen recommendations from dot and key or like things that i purchased first is something that i'd emptied out in my last video and this is the dot and key's vitamin c plus e super bright sunscreen this is a great sunscreen it's a fluid based sunscreen very lightweight and like just perfect for summers it's going to add a beautiful glow it's enriched with vitamin c and i also really like the packaging i think i've reviewed it so many times on my channel and i really enjoy using it as well it's like a good sunscreen and the reason why i actually purchase so many sunscreens because like i told you i replace my body lotions with sunscreens during the summers cuz i really have to The next one that I got is the Dot and Key's Watermelon Cooling Sunscreen again with SPF 50. Now this sunscreen, okay, it's a bit thicker in texture compared to the Vitamin C one, and again the packaging is pretty similar but in pink color. Dot and Key has a lot of other sunscreens as well, like Sika sunscreen, hyaluronic acid, water resistant one as well. But I prefer these two from the entire collection. The Vitamin C one is great for everyday use and. If you're let's say if you want like a long lasting hydrating sunscreen I would recommend the watermelon one cuz it's really nice. So yeah this is the watermelon cooling gel sunscreen and it's gel based like I told you and it doesn't really tingle on your face as such but it does make it more cool and soothe. So yeah this is the other sunscreen. Then I have two sunscreens from Moody. I recently did a Moody sunscreen review and I really enjoyed using it. First of all I emptied out the hyaluronic acid sunscreen the 70 hydro burst hybrid water sunscreen and it's all over absolutely loved it that's the reason i got another one it's very pocket friendly at the same time very effective the other one that i got is the acne expert mattifying bright up sunscreen this is the one that i got for my brother because my brother has a lot of acne issues and i was like okay let's just get him this acne one and the vitamin c one i gave it to my mom cuz she really likes it she really likes anything with orange in general i don't know why that's just the mom thing but these are the two sunscreens that i picked up from Moody a sunscreen that has my heart and it's again super affordable is from aquologica this is the aquologica's illuminate plus dewy sunscreen with wild berries and alpha arbutin you guys know alpha arbutin really helps with dark spots and reduction Just look at the cute packaging it's so pretty so i really want to try more things from aquologica i used to use their products a lot then i stopped using but now i'm going to get back their sunscreens are the best in the market especially this one it smells nothing like berries but it's so lightweight dewy and just kind of adds a beautiful glow to your face and i really want sunscreens that don't pill up and kind of chip off that's when aquologica comes cuz none of the aquologica products do like that so yeah i'm really looking forward to this one i also want to try out kriti sanon's hyaluronic acid based sunscreen it's recently launched so let's see if i'm able to try that out or not but these were the sunscreens that i recently picked up So guys this was the video on affordable sunscreens under rupees 500 I hope you all find it helpful make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye